You are going to die. This is the one certainty in life. Yet we often avoid thinking about it. But what if embracing our mortality could be the key to living a more purposeful, fulfilling, and impactful life? Let's confront the harsh reality of death and explore how it can be used as motivation for living life to the fullest. The Stoic Perspective Memento Mori The Stoics believed in the power of Memento Mori. A Latin phrase meaning Remember that you will die. By constantly reminding ourselves of our mortality, we can cultivate a sense of urgency and focus on what truly matters in life. This isn't about being morbid or depressing, but about being honest with ourselves. Memento Mori helps us prioritize our time, avoid distractions, and overcome our fears. It's a mental tool that allows us to live in the present, free from the burden of yesterday's regrets and tomorrow's anxieties. By embracing our mortality, we can find the strength to pursue our passions and live a life of purpose and meaning. The Ancient Greek View Embracing Mortality The ancient Greeks were known for their wisdom and acceptance of death as a natural part of life. To them, mortality was a reminder to live life to the fullest and to pursue virtue and excellence. The concept of memento mori Remember that you will die was a common theme in Greek philosophy. It encouraged people to focus on what truly matters, to prioritize their time, and to strive for greatness. The Greeks saw death as a catalyst for living, not something to be feared or avoided. By embracing our mortality, we can tap into the same sense of purpose and drive that motivated the ancient Greeks to achieve greatness. Buddhist philosophy, impermanence, and death. Buddhism teaches us that everything in life is impermanent, including ourselves. This fundamental truth is often difficult to accept, but it's essential to understanding the nature of reality. The Buddha's teachings on impermanence and death encourage us to let go of attachment and desire, and instead focus on the present moment. By acknowledging our mortality, we can cultivate a sense of detachment and acceptance freeing ourselves from the fear of death. This mindset allows us to appreciate the beauty of the present and to live life with intention and purpose. Embracing impermanence and death is not about being melancholic or morbid, but about being honest and realistic about the human experience. A liberating perspective that can bring peace, clarity, and a deeper appreciation for life. Nietzsche's will to power Overcoming fear, Nietzsche's philosophy teaches us that life is about living, not just existing. The fear of death holds us back from truly living. We must overcome this fear and tap into our inner strength, our will to power. When we acknowledge our mortality, we can break free from the chains of conformity and societal expectations. We can create our own values, our own purpose, and our own meaning in life. We must not be held back by the fear of death, but instead use it as fuel to drive us forward. As Nietzsche said, my formula for greatness in a human being is Amar Fati. That one wants nothing to be different, not forward, not backward, not in all eternity, not merely bear what is necessary, Still less conceal it all, idealism is mendaciousness in the face of what is necessary, but love it. Let's choose to love our fate, to love life, and to live it to the fullest. The darkness of existentialism, freedom, and responsibility. Existentialism is a harsh reality check. It tells us that we're free, but that freedom comes with a price total responsibility. We're no longer bound by traditional norms or moral codes. We're forced to create our own meaning in life. This freedom can be overwhelming, even terrifying, but it's also empowering. We're no longer victims of circumstance. We're the authors of our own destiny. We must take responsibility for our choices, our actions, and our lives. In this darkness, we find the power to create, to choose, and to live. And it's in this darkness 
that we can find true freedom. 35 Ways to Use Death as Motivation Now that we've explored the philosopher's perspectives on mortality, it's time to get practical. Here are 35 ways to use death as motivation for living from prioritizing time and cultivating courage to taking risks and forming meaningful relationships. These practical tips will help you focus on what truly matters, overcome your fears, and live a more purposeful life. Remember, death is not something to be feared, but something to be used as fuel for living. Here's a taste of what's to come, embracing impermanence, building strong relationships, and leaving a legacy. It's time to face your mortality and start living. Number one, focus on what truly matters. When you're faced with your own mortality, things get real fast. You start to realize that most of the stuff you worry about is just noise. The drama, the gossip, the petty arguments, the fear of what others think. It's all just a distraction. Death has a way of putting things into perspective. It helps you identify what truly matters in your life. Focus on your values, your goals, your relationships, and your personal growth. Don't waste your time on things that won't matter in the grand scheme of things. Remember, you're not getting any younger, and your time is running out. So, what truly matters to you? Number two. Prioritize your time. Time is a finite resource, and once it's gone, it's gone forever. Death reminds us that our time is limited, and it's up to us to make the most of it. Prioritizing your time means focusing on what's truly important to you, and eliminating distractions. Ask yourself, what are my goals and values? What needs to be done to achieve them? Eliminate the non-essential and allocate your time accordingly. Remember, every moment counts, and every decision you make should align with your goals and values. Don't waste your time on trivial pursuits, and don't let procrastination hold you back. Use your time wisely, and make every day count. Number three, cultivate courage. The fear of death can paralyze us or it can fuel our courage. When you remember that your time is limited, you are more likely to take bold action. Speak your truth and stand up for what you believe in. Cultivating courage means facing your fears, including the fear of death. It means saying no to comfort and yes to challenge. It means taking the road less traveled, even when it's uncertain. By embracing your mortality, you'll find the courage to live life on your own terms. You'll stop waiting for permission and start taking action. You'll stop being held back by fear and start being driven by courage. Number four, take risks. Death is the ultimate risk and it's coming for us all. Yet, we often play it safe, stuck in our comfort zones, afraid to take risks and truly live. Embracing our mortality can be the catalyst for breaking free from this fear. Take calculated risks, pursue your passions, and challenge yourself daily. Death can be a motivator to push beyond your limits, to innovate, and to create. Remember, the greatest risk is not taking any risks at all. So, what's the risk you've been putting off? Take the leap, and watch your life transform in ways you never thought possible. Number five. Form meaningful relationships. Death reminds us that our time with loved ones is limited. Forming meaningful relationships is crucial to living a fulfilling life. Think about it. When you're on your deathbed, what will matter most? Will it be the money you made, the cars you owned, or the hours you spent watching TV? No, it'll be the people you loved and who loved you back. So, nurture those relationships invest in them and prioritize them ask yourself who are the people you want to spend your time with who are the people you want to support and who do you want to support you focus on building strong genuine connections and you'll find that life becomes more purposeful and enjoyable remember death is a harsh reality 
but it's also a great motivator for forming meaningful relationships. Introduction to the harsh reality. You're going to die. It's a harsh reality. But it's the one thing that's certain in life. Most people try to avoid thinking about it. But I'm here to tell you that's a mistake. Death is not something to be feared or avoided, but rather something to be used as motivation for living. Think about it. If you knew you only had a limited amount of time left, wouldn't you want to make the most of it? Wouldn't you want to focus on what truly matters, prioritize your time, and take risks to achieve your goals? That's what we're going to explore in this series, the harsh reality of death and how it can be used as a catalyst for living a more purposeful, fulfilling, and impactful life. Number 35. Leave a legacy. You're not just a fleeting moment in the grand tapestry of time. You have the power to leave a lasting impact. To leave a legacy that transcends your mortal existence. Think about it. What will people remember about you? After you're gone, will it be the number of likes on your social media posts? Or the number of lives you've touched? Will it be the wealth you've accumulated? Or the wisdom you've shared? Leave a legacy that speaks to the essence of who you are and what you stand for. Make your mark on the world and let your death be the catalyst for a life well lived. Conclusion. Living life to the fullest. You've made it to the end of this journey. You face the harsh reality of death. And you've been equipped with 35 ways to use it as motivation for living. Now, it's time to put it all into practice. Remember, death is not something to be feared, but something to be respected. It's a reminder to live life to the fullest, to pursue your goals with purpose and to cherish every moment. Don't waste another day on mediocrity. Don't let fear hold you back. Don't wait for tomorrow. Start living today. Start living now. Remember, your time is limited, but your impact doesn't have to be.